back here again and today we'll be talking about the Suicide Squad David Ayer cut which had been teased by both Ayer himself and AT&T which so happens to own Warner Brothers. This has been like the centerpiece today because AT&T decided to you know give a little tweet. Because saying that mm, we know that this cut exists, maybe we could like uh, release it, like the Snyder cut. And this has got everybody riled up. A month or two ago, the air cut is like something that came and went, and people talked about it for a bit. I didn't think anything suits like water related from the past few months have been worthy enough for a video segment itself, but this here. Considering the fact that the Snyder Cut have just been announced and Zack Snyder is going to have his full vision of the Justice League film released to us in HBO Max, I wouldn't be surprised based off this little tweet to where the AT&T company acknowledges the existence of such a cut and that they are open to the idea of releasing it. I wouldn't be surprised if they would do the same thing with this film like they are doing with Justice League. And I would love to see the Suicide Squad cut. That first trailer of the Suicide Squad when it came out in Comic Con was one of my favorite trailers. I loved it. It was very gritty, creepy, a little Tim Burton-y in a way. If I could describe it mixed in with End of Watch or Escape from New York, it was such a cool trailer. And then the movie happened. And I enjoyed the movie back then, but I enjoy it right now for different reasons. It's not a great movie, but it has its qualities. But I am very interested to see what David Ayer has in store for us because we know the story on how David Ayer got royally fucked over during the production. Apparently he had six weeks to shoot the film, even though it's confirmed. No, not six weeks to shoot, to write the movie. Even though now it's confirmed that it wasn't true by himself. It, so, and like, um, Warner Brothers like, brought a new trailer editor to edit the entire movie. And it was a clusterfuck. Okay, guys? It was a clusterfuck. And it, you, it really shows once you see the film that this was a studio movie and this was nothing like the original trailer had intended. And I would be very interested to see what it, this cut has in store. Apparently it has a more Harley Quinn set. It is a more Harley Quinn centric film and it focuses on the abusive relationship between the Joker and Harley Quinn. That is something I wanted to see in The Birds of Prey, which we didn't get. God damn it, Warner Brothers. Um, but hopefully, if this cut comes out, it would base it will be like a little bit of a course correction. And if these two cuts are to come out on HBO Max, or or then later to get Blu-ray release and maybe theatrical if they are successful. This could bring the DCEU thinking about doing crossovers again. But now it looks like, now since they're doing good movies, they could at least have an idea of what they want to lead into if they do ever go back to doing the Dark Side storyline. But overall, I'm. I, I'm excited of the idea of this cut existing, honestly, and I hope that if it does come out and they do announce it, if they do that, it will be really nice and it will be very exciting and it's going to make a lot of fans happy. Let me know what you guys think of this news and comment down below. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you guys next time.